Have you ever wondered where the sun goes at night? I'm here at Wonder Lab in the Science Museum and I am stood on a big moving model of the solar system known as the Orrery. This is Kate. Hi. Kate, I love this. This is brilliant. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. See here we've got our sun in the centre of the solar system. Yep. And this is our planet, the Earth. As you can see, it's spinning on its own axis, but it's also turning around the sun in an orbit. I can feel the movement as well. I'm not going to lie, it's making me feel a little bit sick. <laughs> Just a bit. Well, we are moving at a rate of 365 days per cycle. That's so, our year. Nice and slowly. Okay, nice okay. and slowly. And we can see the Earth is spinning as well, and it takes 24 hours for it to rotate once all the way around. That creates a day. Exactly. So can you find us? Uh, there. Got it. Here we are. Oh, nice. Now, as we're going round, it's getting dark. We're not lit up at all, so this is nighttime. But as we turn and we can see the sun again, it's the day. That's such a lovely way to see it. So you can see that the sun hasn't gone anywhere when it disappears. It's just the other side of the Earth. And then, yep. The sun's rising. That's the sunrise. And just as it turns into night for us on the other side of the world, Australia, there it is. Dawn is breaking. It's the start of the day. Exactly. But you know, we didn't always know that the Earth was a ball that was spinning. So people used to come up with their own ideas of where the sun was at night and how it came up in the morning. Oh, I bet there's some great stories. Yeah, the ancient Egyptians thought that it was a dung beetle pushing the sun across the sky. And the ancient Greeks thought it was pulled across the sky by a chariot of the gods. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. But it makes sense because if you don't know that you're on a ball that's spinning, essentially rotating around an even bigger ball, then what story would you tell? 